hi guys welcome to my youtube channel welcome back once again i am miss char so i want to leave for the hospital i'm on night shift so i'm in my bedroom i'm prepping actually i finished prepping i'm just doing the final touches my glasses are really extremely dirty um I want to go because I need to be there by 7 and it's around 6.30 so I'll put my glasses on I'll probably carry this bag it's a Burberry dupe spotted it no, Eva got me I bought it from Eva and then I've carried my lunch over here container is from Indomie so in here I have a lamb chop and fries, easy peasy and a fork. That's all I'm carrying. Probably I'll carry a book to read because and then I'll scent of the day is my Zara Gumand. Eat the perfume. So yeah, that is my evening. What else do I need to carry? Carry lotion, lip gloss, and other things. So I'll see you when I'm in the world. Okay. We said you're back on YouTube, so thank you so much for those who viewed your reflection. Thank you so much for those who viewed uh, my ICU video. I see you. Thank you so much. I'll continue watching. It's a new year and more and more vlogs are coming. <laughs>
doing the ABG and uh, recording on my side as well as telling the nuts so that they record from their end and uh, doing adjustment as appropriate. So yeah, this will be continuous every hour but the blood gases will just be doing them every two hourly at different intervals and adjusting our um, oxygen levels and um, as per how the patient is physiologically responding and also checking the heparin so that it's not too much. So I'm doing the test for activated uh, clotting time to check for heparin and I noted that it was 243. I informed the nurse and also informed my supervisor who advised me to calm down on our heparin. It was running at 2400 so we came down to 2100 yeah so these are the important steps to just take and do every time so that you know where you're at if it is too high you adjust according to the, how the patient is responding at that moment so yeah chosen to go back to the computer and look at the patient's lab reports because I know eventually the lecturer will ask me for a case summary about this patient so I was just looking at the details and here I am just taking a video because this is magnificent this is beautiful and uh, what this machine is able to do for this patient is to oxygenate for him because his lungs had failed and he needed to oxygenate somehow somewhere and this machine does particularly that you'll notice that it's very dark it's around 2 a.m and we are exhausted but we need to keep pressing on and continue doing our hourly monitoring so i salute all icu nurses so I'm recording on this form. the patient is still doing dialysis i came in in the morning and found dialysis is ongoing so the indian team is already here as you can see they're setting up 
doing their part and us we are doing our part because the patient needs to be airlifted to India by 11 a.m. and currently it's around 9 p.m. So yeah, let's check it out. Thank you. 